हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आस्टिक चैनल टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर ऑफ फोर्थ सेमेस्टर आई एस एंड सी एस सिलेबस ऑफ वी टी यू सो इन दिस वील सी एड्रेसिंग मोड्स नाउ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज एड्रेसिंग मोड एड्रेसिंग मोड इज द वे इन विच डेटा इज मूड बिटवीन मेमोरी एंड प्रोसेसर और इनपुट आउटपुट डिवाइस एंड प्रोसेसर वेरियस वे डेटा इज मूड मूड फ्रॉम द मेमोरी टू द ऑपरेंट्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एड्रेसिंग मोड सो नाउ देर आर सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ एड्रेसिंग मोड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट वन इज रजिस्टर सेकेंड वन इज इमीडिएट थर्ड वन इज डायरेक्ट फोर्थ वन इज रजिस्टर इन डायरेक्ट फिफ्त वन इज बेज रिलेटिव सिक्स वन इज इंडेक्स रिलेटिव सेवन वन इज बेज इंडेक्स रिलेटिव सो वेन एवर दिस क्वेश्चन कम्स यू हैव टू राइट दिस वन फर्स्ट then explain this one just simple explanation is not sufficient explanation with the example is required for addressing mode please remember without uh, explain uh, the example uh, you will not get full mark if you write register addressing mode and if you write blah 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 you will not get full mark if you write example then you will get full marks always write the example so first uh, this is a 10 marks question first you write this one seven modes uh, like this uh, then uh, continue first one is the register addressing mode what is the register addressing mode register addressing mode i am using uh, both operands are register and what is the advantage of this one advantage of this one is the whenever register register is internal to the cpu that means it is a faster i am moving uh, dx content to bx ax content to es like this register addressing mode these are the register addressing mode what is immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode uh, one of the operand is constant for example here source operand destination cannot be constant always source is constant here i am not using uh, any memory location directly i am using the value so it is also faster so this is uh, immediate addressing mode right one one example third one is uh, third one is uh, direct addressing mode direct addressing mode i am using the address see here any number in the bracket indicates address this is the address move dl comma 2400 or move dl comma data that is address that is called as direct addressing mode i am directly giving the address in the instruction a direct addressing mode direct address direct addressing mode one example is required here so find the physical address of the memory location and its contents after the execution of the following instruction that is ds is 1512 Uh, yes, given DS here one five one two. So DS is one five one two and ninety uh, nine is uh, moved to AL. From AL uh, it is moved to three five one eight. So ninety nine is moved to AL. This is immediate uh, addressing mode. Then from AL it is moved to memory address. So what is the memory address here? Three five one eight. So what is the memory address? Uh, three DS is given on five one two. So let us calculate uh, the physical address. We know that one, right? From our previous theory, we know. So previous theory, we know one five one two. What you have to do? One five one two. One five one two. You have to multiply by ten. Then this becomes one five two one. Please remember to write H X A. Don't write just like this. Uh, i mean just uh, this one without h uh, this one xr decimal then uh, if you don't write h it indicates it is a decimal d then after that uh, add offset 3518 3518 when you add offset 3518 you will get this one this address uh, in this location uh, 99 is stored this uh, location contains uh, 99 clear yes direct addressing mode so in this example also you can see direct addressing mode the content of the, this one so next one is uh, indirect addressing mode next one is uh, indirect addressing mode before that indirect addressing mode let us see one more address this one uh, sorry the other example for direct addressing mode here it is given 5634 illi 5634 kottidare 5634 now you see this one bx uh, value uh, first uh, this the uh, content of this one is moved to bx so now 
We don't know data segment. I will write address like this only. Five six three four and five six three five. Logical address. What uh, it contains? Uh, for forty five. Uh, lower byte uh, and uh, MSB higher bytes. Now, now after execution of this one, uh, after execution of this one, uh, our BX register contains uh, BH contains. Uh, This one, higher uh, bytes, eighty-six, uh, uh, and uh, BL contains uh, lower bytes, forty-five. Uh, so that is the example. Similarly, we have register indirect. Register indirect means. Uh, we will take the content of the register and treat that as address and content of the register and treat that as address and in that address whatever the content is there that is moved for example here you can see si this is a register this has got certain content and but what i said uh, any content in the bracket indicate the address now you have to see what is there in this address that is moved to cl clear so let us take one example here See here, move a x. What is a x in this case? This one to s i. So this is not moved to this one. First you take s i. S i. What is s i? Two four nine eight. See now, s i is equal to two four nine eight. Two four nine eight. What is there surrounding two four nine eight bracket? That indicates address. Now you have to see what is there in this address two four nine eight. What is there in this address? We will put a DS also. Logical address. DS, logical address, and uh, here DS is given. That is one one two zero. What do you do? One one two zero multiply by ten. It becomes one one two zero zero, and add two four nine eight. You will get some content. That is this content. This content, uh, first content, store uh, lower byte. Uh, sorry. Lower byte. What is lower byte? Uh, FE. It will store FE. Then what is the next content? Uh, 99. That will store the higher byte. So you can ask how it will come to know. It has to store in two location. Here operation is 16 bit. That's why it will come to know automatically. It has to store uh, data in two location. One is uh, 13,698. Other one is 13,699. Because we have given instruction like this, a x. Suppose if you give the instruction of move s i, if you give the instruction something like this, comma a l, then it will move only uh, like content of a l to one location. One location, but uh, our instruction is different. So here, uh, this is called as a register indirect addressing mode. Next, base relative addressing. This is similar. Once you understand register indirect, uh, this is similar. Base relative. See here, base relative means uh, so many students will write the syntax and all. If they are interested, they can write. But better to Explain with the example. For example, here you see move C X comma base register plus offset. So, and you have to explain. First, it will calculate the physical address from this one. How it will calculate the physical address from this one? It will take a data segment register. You know, it will take data segment register and multiply by ten. And for that, it will add. For that, it will add B X. And uh, content of bx, sorry, bx value, and it will add ten. Uh, For that, it will add ten. Finally, it will get uh, value, some value. What is the value? Here uh, we have not calculated exactly value. And content of that value, that is the memory location. Content of that memory location is moved to cx. That is called as base relative addressing mode. One example is sufficient. Instead of a base, this BX register, you can use BP register also. Base register, both are base register.
next one is a uh, index relative here we are using index register for example example you see move si comma 10 ax what i am doing here content of ax is moved to index plus relative as I explained in the base relative, index plus uh, uh, this one relative. Here also you have to calculate first uh, physical address. New only physical address and calculate Marbeko. How you have to calculate physical address? You have to take uh, uh, like uh, you have to take uh, segment register and you have to calculate. For example, if here in this question fourth one uh, here uh, you see fourth one BP is given. That means you have to take stack segment for calculation. And uh, in here, SI is given. When they give SI, you have to take a data segment for calculation. Please remember this one. I, I told you, whenever they give SP and BP, you have to take stack segment. Whenever they give SI, DI, sorry, SI, DI, BX, that time you have to take a data segment and uh, you can calculate this one it is explained in the class also you can calculate this one and the final one is uh, base index uh, sorry index i'm sorry Base index relative, where we use both base register, index register, and uh, offset. So, seven addressing modes are there. Base index uh, relative, seven addressing modes are there. You can see here base register, index register, and offset. So, seven register, seven addressing modes are there. Please remember this one uh, as I said earlier. Code segment offset is IP. Data segment uh, offset is uh, any one of these register will act as an offset. Uh, stack segment, please remember SP and uh, BP. Extra segment when they give offset is uh, you have to use SID and uh, BX. Because uh, in the exam they will not mention you offset. They will give direct register value and they will make you confused. Uh, they will try to uh, analyze uh, whether you know which register you have to use uh, for the particular segment. For example, code segment you cannot use uh, SP or BP. Code segment you have to use uh, IP. Instruction pointer only act like a offset. Clear? So next one here is uh, segment override. What do you mean by segment override? Uh, segment override means uh, normally by default uh, this acts like a uh, offset and this is the, uh, this is the offset for this segment but uh, i can change it how you can change it you can see here uh, instruction move ax comma csbp cs will use uh, code segment register will use bp as the offset default is a uh, default is uh, whenever stack segment comes uh, bp will be the offset but here uh, I am overriding that one by writing like this one. This will tell uh, copy uh, use BP as the offset uh, address and take the value. This will tell use uh, SI as the offset in stack segment uh, and take the value. So this is called as a segment overriding. This is very very important segment overriding. So you have to write this uh, example. 